Hello Aries, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the true feelings of the person that is on your mind when it comes to love. This reading is for every Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is a timeless reading. So let's go ahead and get into these messages. All right. So when it comes to the person that is on the mind of Aries, at the time that Aries watches this reading, what are that person's true feelings for Aries? At the time that Aries watches this reading. Two more shuffles. All right. So let's see what comes out. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have healing. So this is someone that may feel as though you're releasing them, but they are wanting to heal things. They see you as a divine feminine or a divine masculine. So this person feels as though you cannot be replaced. Give me more. What are this person's true feelings for? Aries. Also, this person feels as though your energy is very healing for them. We have hopeless here. So this person feels as though things have fallen apart or things are falling apart between the two of you. But this is someone that doesn't want you moving forward. They want to keep you stuck. This is someone that wants to tie you down. Wow. So they're in their feelings. This person is in despair, even if they're not letting you know that. So they may feel hopeless about being able to repair this relationship or being able to fix things with you. Give me more. What are this person's true feelings for Aries? Thank you. So we have a breaking point. So some of you have reached your limit with this person. You may be at the point where you just want to focus on yourself. All of the energy that you were putting into this person, all of the energy that you were putting into this connection, you may be putting it into yourself now. Okay. Wow. So there's something that this person did where they feel like it was the nail in the coffin. They feel like it was the final straw. Hmm. This could be someone that's also suffering from depression. They're overwhelmed right now. Give me more. They have a lot going on. What are this person? Thank you. So we have commitment. Wow. So this person, they see you as someone that they want to marry or someone that they want to spend the rest of their life with. Now, the commitment card is also about fidelity. Are you questioning this person's loyalty? Was there infidelity here? That's what it seems like. Some of you may suspect that this person has been unfaithful or you may feel like almost like they're testing your um, boundaries or this person is pushing it. And what I mean by that is this could be someone that keeps doing the same things over and over or this could be someone that you have given numerous chances, but they keep messing up. It's like every time you try to build things with this person, they tear things back down. This could be someone that sabotaged the connection. Give me more. What are this person's true feelings for Aries? All right, so we have elusive. Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. This card is about being dishonest, being deceptive. It's about trickery. So some of you feel like this person is up to no good. You don't trust them. You do not trust them. Huh. And a lot of you value honesty. I feel like this person doesn't understand how important honesty is to you. For some of you, you may feel like they're always trying to get away with things. But even when they try to deceive you or when they try to get away with certain things, you always end up being aware of it. You always end up finding out. Some of you may be freeing yourself from this person. Give me more. What are those true feelings? for Aries all right so we have curse and we have clinging so this person's obsessed with you 
they're also spying they are holding on to your energy but with the curse card being here they feel like you have a negative mindset when it comes to them i'm telling you there's something about you questioning this person's loyalty i feel like you don't believe a word that they say for some of you, not all of you, okay, this person may feel as though um, they're under the influence of witchcraft or that they're under the influence of spell work because they have never been so obsessed with anyone in their life. They don't understand why they're unable to let you go, okay? Hmm. Wow. So, yeah, this person is clinging on on to you they're holding on for their life give me more Ooh, aries there's something about you that is irreplaceable look obsession we have two cards of obsession here this person is obsessed with you this is deep rooted obsession this is very deep obsession my goodness Wow. It kind of bothers me a little bit, though. This obsession that this person has for you. Um, I don't want to trigger anyone or I don't want to sound negative, but it's giving fatal attraction vibes. I don't like this obsession with this clinging energy with the hopeless and the breaking point. I don't like that. I don't like that. This gives me fatal attraction vibes. If I can't have you, no one can. It's that type of energy. Oh, my goodness. Give me more. What are this person's true feelings for Aries? Aries, this person, they are deeply obsessed with you. I cannot stress that enough. Distance wanted to come out crossing. So, for some of you, you may be putting space between you and this person. Possibly because they did something to destroy the connection or this person could have broken your heart in some way, shape, or form. One of the blockages in this connection is that this person keeps being dishonest. They keep being deceptive. Like I said, it's giving energy of someone that keeps doing the same things over and over and over again. Now, for some of you, not all of you, this person has thought about putting spell work on you, possibly to keep you there. It's giving um, spell work of obsession to make you obsessed with them, to make you infatuated with them, almost to make you addicted to them, to make you feel like you can't let them go. It's that type of thing. And keep in mind, spell work doesn't always have to involve an actual ritual. It could just be that this person is thinking or feeling something so deeply to the point where it can manifest, okay? So it doesn't mean that this person is doing actual rituals here, but I feel like for some of you, they either have or they're thinking about it. That's how desperate this person is. This is desperate, desperate energy. This is desperate energy. So let's see what will be the outcome between the two of you. What will be the outcome between Aries and this person? Okay, so we have distracted here. And that fell out right on top of distance. So the two of you will continue to have this deep-rooted soul connection. For some of you, this is a soul tie. But I also feel as though for some of you, this person will try to delay you from moving on. Okay, and for others of you, this is someone that's going to try and change your mind about separating or about you being distant from them. This is someone that wants to keep you stuck. They want to keep you stuck in a pattern. They want to keep you stuck in a cycle. Okay. I feel like this person's going to try and come in and change your mind in regards to them. But I feel like a lot of you have already made up your mind. They may tell you that they'll change. It's almost like this person wants to distract you from the real issues in this connection. For some of you, if there has been distance between the two of you, I feel like this person will try to get closer to you. They're going to try to bring about change in this connection. But also keep in mind there may be some delays here. If there are delays, it's your protection, okay? Wow. So that is your reading, Aries. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.